The hydrovar is intended to be operated by qualified personnel only. Please read the IOM manual carefully before installing and using the product. Improper use of the product can cause personal injury and damage to property and may void the warranty. Setup is simple for anyone, anywhere, with a choice of 28 language settings. The data plate on your chosen pump motor will show its nominal input voltage and the correct rated current, which you set on the hydrovar. Or you can just select the data for a Lawara IE3 2 poles 50 Hz motor, which is already built into the software. Or simply select a generic motor. If no is set, additional steps are required to let the hydrovar identify the correct motor parameters. Otherwise, go directly to the STC thermal protection settings. If a generic motor is selected, the nominal current and nominal speed of the motor has to be set. Note that the Automatic Motor Parameter Identification Process, AMPI, can take up to three minutes, during which time no other actions are possible. It's necessary to select the thermal protection settings for your motor, which will protect the unit from overheating. With the STC, Software Thermal Control, no motor PTCs are required as standard. The control options are displayed, with the default being a single motor. Here, the choice is offered to set the options for multiple pumps, including Cascade Serial and Cascade Synchronous. For a single pump, you can select between control or actuator mode. In multiple pump systems, Hydrovar allows up to eight pumps to be connected via the RS-485 interface, making each pump totally independent if a failure occurs to either another pump hydrovar or sensor transducer. Note that a screened cable is required along with a unique pump address for each pump. In control mode, you can choose between constant for constant pressure systems or differential for closed loop systems. The parameters change on screen accordingly. Remember that constant pressure requires one pressure transducer while differential pressure requires two pressure transducers. There are other options. Follow a system curve and control the pump according to an external signal. Then set the unit of measurement for the system. In a multiple pump system, the procedure can be stopped at this point on all pumps except the final one by selecting yes and then completing the procedure on that final pump by selecting No. A range of further settings are now available directly from the panel. Select and calibrate the sensor prior to the system going live. Set the required pressure in the system. Choose the starting point for when pressure drops and the minimum threshold for the pump to turn off when pressure or flow does not make duty within a set time. Similarly, delay times and water protection thresholds can be set. The date and time on the embedded time clock can then be set. The auto start feature will set Hydrovar to start automatically after a power outage to suit system conditions or demand if auto start is disabled, unit remains inactive. The control panel will now ask if setup is complete. Select yes to store the settings for operation. Select no and the startup procedure is shown again at the next power up. As long as this parameter is left to no, 
a warning will be shown to prompt the completion of this information. There are 10 minutes to make this choice or a warning will be shown to prompt the completion of this information. Finally, to fine-tune Hydrovar according to your system requirements, there is a secondary level menu. Find more information at hydrovar.com, along with other how-to videos and support.